Welcome back guys, today we're making burek, a delicious pastry found amongst the Middle Eastern and Balkan communities. Burek is crispy and golden on the outside with a delicious cheese filled pasta like texture on the inside. Now there are many ways to make this and we're making the spinach and cheese versions today. This is perfect for breakfast or that ideal snack to go with your coffee. If you want to learn how to make Turkish style burek from scratch at home, keep watching. So for our filling, we'll need some full fat feta, three eggs and some Greek style yogurt. We want to crumble our feta into a bowl and this is already salty, so we won't be adding any extra salt. Now, once it's all evenly broken down, we can go ahead and add in three eggs. Add three heaped tablespoons of yogurt, one teaspoon of baking soda, and one half cup of olive oil. Now we can mix this all together until it's fully combined, and then we're going to set it aside in the fridge while we get started on making our dough for the pastry. Now for our dough, we want to measure out 400 grams of plain flour, one and a half tablespoons of salt, and one tablespoon of vinegar. Apple or white vinegar is fine. Add a drizzle of olive oil to your mix and one and one third cups of water and then we're going to mix this all together. Now if you find your dough is a little too thin and sticky, just go ahead and add in an extra tablespoon or so of flour. You'll know when it's ready once the edges of the bowl are clean and the dough has formed. Now we can go ahead and flour our bench to prep our dough. We want to make this into a log shape so that we can cut it into 8 pieces. Each piece will be one sheet of burek pastry. Now I made a little extra dough but if you follow the recipe you should only get 8 pieces. We're going to make each piece into a cute little ball and set it aside to rest for 30 minutes. Make sure you cover them while they're resting with a bit of cling wrap or a clean tea towel so that they don't dry out. Now after 30 minutes, we can go ahead and oil our baking tray and then we can get our bench ready to roll out our burek pastry sheets. Don't be shy with the flour during this step guys, the flour is what makes the sheets really easy to roll out. You want to be generous with it and we're going to keep adding flour and rolling this out until each sheet is super thin and around the same size as your baking tray. So my baking tray was 30 centimeters to 43 centimeters in size. Now, once your dough sheet is large enough, we're just gonna pick it up and dust off that extra flour, and then we can get layering. We're gonna start with one layer of pastry straight onto the baking tray, and then we're gonna add a layer of cheese mix, and then a layer of shredded spinach. And we're just gonna repeat this layering until you've run out of your pastry sheets and your ingredients. Now guys, if you're liking these recipes, please don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel and click that notification bell so you get notified every time I post new video. So 
So when you're layering, make sure you stretch out that pastry right to the corners of the tray so that it's even and nicely shaped. With our last layer of pastry, I'm just brushing on any leftover of my cheese mix to give it that golden color on the outside. We're also going to dot across 10 grams of chopped butter pieces for that extra buttery flavor and to give it a nice golden and crispy texture on the outside. Now to make this nice and pretty, we're going to top it off with a sprinkle of black sesame and a sprinkle of white sesame. Let's place our burek into a preheated oven at 180 degrees fan force for 45 minutes or until it's a little puffed and golden just like this. There you go guys, fresh burek made from scratch at home this is best served fresh from the oven, but it's still absolutely delicious overnight as leftovers. If you do reheat this, I recommend you heat it in an oven or a sandwich press just to get that pastry crisped up again. I hope you enjoyed today's Middle Eastern recipe. Happy cooking, guys.